All right, picture this. It's May 2nd, 2011. Two stealth helicopters are flying low, almost silent. Inside, SEAL Team 6, locked, loaded, and about to change history. They're closing in on a compound deep in Pakistan. The target? Osama Bin Laden. This is the moment everyone's been waiting for. Years of intelligence, blood, sweat, and sacrifice. But before we hit the raid, let's rewind. How did we get here? It all started back in 2003, with one CIA analyst, Maya, laser focused on finding the world's most wanted man. This is where the hunt begins. Today, we're diving deep into Zero Dark Thirty, breaking down how one woman's relentless pursuit led to the most high stakes military operations of our generation. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to keep videos like these coming weekly. Meet Maya, she's not your average analyst. Think of her as the CIA's secret weapon, diving into the murky world of counterterrorism. Our mission? To find Osama Bin Laden. It's like looking for a needle in a haystack. I mean, there's memes about it. But this needle is a guy who's been dodging the world's best for years. So it's 2003 and Maya's on ground in Pakistan. She's knee deep in black site interrogations. They're not exactly polite chit chats. Think more along the lines of extreme measures to squeeze out intel. And yeah, these techniques are about as friendly as a grizzly bear in a bad mood. So Maya and her CIA buddy Dan are chasing leads on this guy. Abu Ahmed al Kuwatati. Maybe I said that right. He is the key to cracking this case wide open. They're hunting him like a pro athlete's hunting for a championship. And then bam, Maya's friend Jessica gets hit hard when a double agent detonates a suicide vest. Now, this is no small hit. It's the world's worst attack on CIA personnel in decades. It's a harsh reminder that the stakes in this game are sky high. But fast forward to 2009, Maya's tracking down the courier, piecing together clues like a chess grandmaster. They attacked us on land in 98, by sea in 2000, and from the air in 2001. They're following every lead, and it's like being on a high stakes treasure hunt when the prize is the most wanted man in the world. By 2011, they've zeroed in on the compound in Pakistan. The place is under surveillance, and while confirmation is still pending, they're pretty sure this is where Bin Laden is hiding. It's the intelligence equivalent of a game winning play in the final seconds. And the CIA is now tasked with the mission to either capture or take out Bin Laden. I'll let you flip a coin on what they decided. The risk of potentially letting Bin Laden slip through your fingers. Maya's confidence, 100%. She's not just playing the game, she's running the show. When Maya says it's a lock, you bet she means it. Fast forward to May 2nd, 2011, it rolls around and SEAL Team 6 hits the compound. They're in and out with surgical precision, taking out several targets, including Bin Laden himself. It was a well-orchestrated military operation where every move counted. Back at base, Maya confirmed the target was indeed Bin Laden. It's a moment of victory, but you can see the weight of the operation on her shoulders. It's the end of the grueling chapter in her life. As Maya heads back to the US, she is a passenger on that plane. The mission is complete, but the toll is clear. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing and keep videos like these coming weekly. So what I took from this movie, the weight of victory and sacrifice is very real. It's just not the win. It's a culmination of years and relentless pursuit. So there you have it. Zero Dark Thirty is more than just a film. It's a testament to perseverance strategy and unyielding commitment. It's actually a reminder that the hardest battles are often fought in the shadows and victory isn't just about the mission, it's about the journey. All right, catch you in the next movie.